Welcome, time for some art fun. Today, we're going to be loading up this adorable little Stay Wet palette that I got for my gouache with my gouache. So <laughs> this is the brand that I got. It was actually recently featured in my art supply haul from Blick and Joann's and Amazon. And this was one of the two Amazon purchases. It is a Transcend paint storage box. The link was in that video because a lot of this gouache was in there and this little palette was in there. So I have organized <laughs> the gouache in color order. I'm going, this is the little silicone cover that, so the gouache will go in here. You know, put your gouache in there. And then I'm going to put my silicone, these little um, ridges, I guess, go into the palette. So each of these will end up probably with paint on them, but they'll be the paint of their individual little co compartments. So I've got 16 compartments. I've got my silicone cover that helps them stay wet. And then I made this little card. I measured it to fit and that's where I'll put my swatches. So you'll watch me fill it up on speed. I'm gonna speed it up. You'll watch me fill it up, swatch it out. And then when we're done, I'm going to do a little painting. I think the painting that I'm going to do is going to be a version of this little guinea pig because I did this guinea pig with my Turner acryl gouache. Basically it's acrylic paint. Like this is a cr true acrylic paint. This just says, let me see if you can see that. Literally just says acrylic. It's a very generic. I got it for like $3 in the sale bin. And this is permanent. So when you use acrylic, it is permanent. It doesn't lift. So if I put a layer down and I let it dry and then I put another layer down, the second layer will not lift the first layer. The first layer is there forever. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you know the Sandlot reference, you know what I'm talking about. And really the only reason they call it acrylic gouache is because it has a matte finish. See? So it doesn't shine. This type of acrylic is shiny. It shines when it dries. And that's a look, you know, that's one way to do it, but it's not the look that I like. I like a matte finish when I'm using uh, really any medium. And I mostly focus on watercolor, acryl gouache, um, these flash paints that, you know, Sandy Hester introduced me to. These are pretty matte and they kind of work like acrylic. They're vinyl paints. They're, they're vinyl um, immersion vinyl geek. I don't know. I did take French at one point, so that's kind of embarrassing that I have no idea how to pronounce that. But gouache, plain old gouache, are more like watercolor where you can lift them. So when I did this corgi, again, pardon the bump, I cannot for some reason figure out where my camera is. When I did this corgi on a paint along with me recently, there was this little spot of this gray got down here past my washi tape and I lifted a lot of it I didn't care enough to keep lifting because I wanted to save my brush but if I wet that real well and scrubbed it with a brush or rubbed it with a paper towel it would come off because watercolor is not permanent you can lift it it can be staining and a lot of colors are staining like phthalo blue is staining um, it's one of those things that you can test when you're testing watercolors you can test if it's staining um, it, how much you can lift it up and how much residue is left behind. The wet layer can lift the, the original layer mixed together. And if they're colors that are opposite on the color wheel, it can become muck. It can become muddy. So that's my plan is to try to, oh, that's going to annoy someone that that was in backwards. Um, my plan is to just try to kind of play with these. Please don't expect much from my guinea pigs. I'm going to do two guinea pigs in this one. It's going to have red and green elements, much like my original guinea pig, so that we can compare at the end. Guinea to guinea. It's going to be really fun to see the pigs, all the pigs together. I have exactly 16 paints and I have exactly 16 compartments. And no, that was not planned. That was actually pure coincidence because I didn't order this until after I'd randomly been ordering different 
gouaches and I, I couldn't even have remembered which ones I had ordered because they came in different boxes and I waited to open all the boxes together with you. So I was, you can almost hear my surprise in my voice when I see the Naples yellow. I was like, ooh, Naples yellow because I'd forgotten that I'd ordered Naples yellow. So that's fun thing. This is the order that we're going to be swatching. And now we're going to get to the speedy McGee portion of this video where I'm going to do a speed swatch and then we're going to get to a speed paint. So that is it for the swatching. Look how cute this palette is. They really, they really look gorgeous. I mean, I love this palette. I'm so happy with these choices. The black had a little disaster because it had too much um, binder at the top and it kind of exploded and I had to take a minute to, to mix it in. But just so you can see, because I, I didn't go through each color individually, this is the ultramarine, this is the primary blue, cobalt turquoise cypress green i did write es instead of us so that's what that's about um permanent green middle olive green elm green from holbein cork yellow and the elm and the olive are quite different um pale rose blush raw sienna naples yellow primary yellow primary red which is like the fire engine red quin magenta which is the pinky red ivory black and zinc white look how potent that white is it covered up that black brush pen really well so that is it for the palette building we're going to move on to the art making in a moment if you're enjoying this video please take a moment to like and subscribe it really helps me out and I would really appreciate it let's get on to painting
And that, my friends, is the guinea pig painting, What Do You Think? I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think you can see really clearly what I meant about the matte finish here. I mean, there's no shine on any part of this, and it gives just a really cool graphic feel, in my opinion. Um, uh, this is the washi tape that I showed in the art hall that's linked below, where I got all of these paints as well. This is the Joann's washi tape it's the thickest one that I have and I wanted a nice thick border since this is a new medium to me and I was nervous I'd go well look at that all right well <laughs> I was worried that I'd go outside the lines I will tell you as I'm peeling this washi tape off that there is a lot of dust there's a lot of like pink dust reddish pink dust from the background the majority of the paint that I use there for the background and I did see that dust yesterday too after I made, it was last night that I made these um, swatches. So there does seem to be some dust associated with this particular color, the primary red. Um, and I am going to be probably mopping it up with some of this nice sticky <laughs> washi tape. I wish that it was a little bit more satisfying for you, but I am glad to see that all of the edges are indeed straight this time. So that's always nice. That's a first for me. I usually I have a little bit peeking out somewhere. But I really loved these paints. I really enjoyed using them. I was very, very intimidated because this is my first full piece and I went ahead and decided to do something super detailed. Lots of fine details. Don't know why I was doing that. And there I go mopping up the, the dust. But 
Um, it, these are very creamy. The Windsor and Newton. The one thing that I wish I had done was leave out the blush all the way on the right next to the ochre and just put a burnt umber in there, some kind of dark brown. But as you can see, I mean, I was able to mix all the browns in the world there on that little guy. Um, so I was able to mix in there and get my browns, but I really enjoyed the experience. The only other gouache that I've ever had experience with is the Himi Maya super cheap. It's like $18 for all of these here. Let me get it out and I'll show you all of these paints here. And that's my own sticker from, um, a Mr. Money Mustache uh, event that I went to a couple years ago. <laughs> but um, that's what I have. And the paints are just really hard. They dried up quickly on me. A lot of YouTubers had a better experience than me. Those are the colors in that set. Very vibrant, pretty colors. And I do use them kind of like watercolor at this point because you can water them down. But they're just dry as a rock. I know it looks like they have a shine to them in this light. They don't. They're hard as can be. And no matter how many times I try to reconstitute them, I just fail miserably. So these had a very different feel. They're very creamy. They're also brand new out of the tube. And I have to say the jelly gouache was creamy when I got it originally too. So it'll be interesting to see how these fare over time. But they are very beautiful to work with. I was nervous to put down thick layers. I was much more comfortable with the thin layers. But overall, I really enjoyed making this painting and I love how it came out. So hopefully you enjoyed this too. And if you did, remember to like and subscribe. And until next time, remember to make something cute. I hope that you found these little babies cute. I find them so cute. Oh my gosh. I can't stop looking at them and dancing them around. See you next time.